Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can calculate a company's trailing revenue or profit numbers. So oftentimes you'll see a metric like TTM, which stands for trailing 12 months. And so what happens in that case is you've got a calculation that looks at a company's past four quarterly results and adds them together. So it's different than annual revenue, which looks at a strict calendar year from January through December or from the start of a company's fiscal year through to its um, ending period. And so I'm going to show you a couple ways that um, you can calculate the, these um, numbers for the, the trailing 12 months, whether it's revenue or anything else. And so the simplest way is using the sum function. And to use the sum function, all you're doing is pulling in the last four numbers. And, you know, I could copy this down and it'll fill in the last four. So if I look at here, it's looking at these last four numbers. Here it's looking at these last four. Now the disadvantage with this method is as you can see, these these ranges are are locked. It's it's hard to tell, you know, if if you've copied something over uh, correctly or not. It's hard to tell how consistent the formula is if there's any errors in it. So that's the disadvantage of using the sum function. Now it's obviously really easy to use, but it's not very versatile if you need to make changes on the fly. Another approach you can take is using the offset function. Now the offset function is is a bit more complicated, but it's a lot more versatile. So the offset function, you can specify where you're starting from, and I'm not moving any rows up or down, and I'm not moving any columns. So I can change I can set these arguments to zero. Now for the height, this is key. Because I want the last four periods. I want to set the height at four. So it's creating an array. The width I can leave empty. And so now it's created this array. So you can see it's pulling these last four and it's going four. That's where that height parameter comes into play. It's pulling in four rows. And so if I wanted to tabulate all this together, now I can use the sum function again. So I'm technically using the sum and the offset function, but primarily the offset function is allowing to create allowing me to create this array now if I copy this down this will look exactly the same and just to prove it out let's do a difference here between these and we can see that the calculations are identical now the one advantage of using the offset function however is here you'll notice we're not using any ranges we've hard-coded in that number four to say look at the last four periods and the advantage of that now is we can enter in a variable here, let's say four, and let's say, call this trailing periods, create a named range for it, trailing periods. So now, instead of number four, we can hard code this as a variable, say trailing periods, and copy this down. And now what I could do is, let's say I want to look at just the past two periods. Now, now there's a difference because now I'm pulling in just these last two months here so 1204 and 1380 that adds up to 2584 which is what this totals so you have a lot more flexibility to select how many periods you want to go because in the event that these are months rather than quarters you know you may want to necessarily have more flexibility and not just saying you just want to always pull the last four quarters or always the last 12 months so by doing this you can set up you know, a formula that's, that's more consistent looks a bit better than just selecting a range. It's always gonna that it's always gonna fluctuate, and you're gonna have to trust that it looks correct. And so, the offset function does have an advantage. It's still using utilizing the sum function, but together with the offset function, the two can create a much more dynamic formula. One that uses utilizes a named range to make it that much more flexible. So that's how you can calculate revenue, profit, or whatever calculations using it to get the trailing 12-month value.